Good morning. Today is November 25, 2010, Thanksgiving Day, and we are going to demo our stock and steel application. And here you can see the map of Centennial Campus, specifically EB2, before the mapping is done. And zoom in here. This is the page that we have that will be updated. It shows a list of emails from the previous runs that we did and afterwards you will see that the page will be updated. And moving on to the next page. This page will show the queue of coordinates that will be updated um, from the coordinates of the phone. And then the next page it contains the queue size which corresponds to the number of coordinates from the previous tab and now we will show you this is our phone and we will load the application tip calculator on the phone there you can see that's our app tip calculator and now when you click on the calculate button, it will start the apps. And Oops. then Chatanya will run around, <laughs> walk around the campus. Okay, so as UP said, we have the app loaded on the phone. And uh, when I click this button, the magic is going to happen. So let's just calculate some tip. Okay. All right, everyone pays $10 yeah. now. <laughs> so that's what our app says, and it's doing a lot of stuff in the background. So let's see whether we have got any more emails before we actually move out. Okay, let me just refresh the page. There oh, you go. yeah, and there you go. You saw some emails appearing over there. Uh, so this is the scenario the user calculated the tip, and the user now actually goes back to the main screen switches over to the browser maybe oh yeah there's a website open he's going to browse some stuff and walk around okay all right now we're going to follow Chaitanya around the campus <laughs> yeah Let's go. and uh, here's the plan uh, we are going to go out we are going to walk towards EB3 and we are going to come back let's go okay so we are at the ground floor and all this while I am accessing the internet And uh, I can actually make a call. I can go to my home screen. Maybe uh, just browse some applications, go to gallery, look at some pictures, go back, do whatever on the phone. The app is doing its malicious thing in the background. So we are at AB3 right now. Mm -hmm. and. We are now going to go back to AB2 and we are going to go back to our lab. Okay, so here we are. And let's see what data we have collected. Okay, heading over to the list of coordinates obtained. Uh, all I am going to do is refresh the page. You be already? Yes. Yeah. So looks like we did obtain some coordinates. Let's see the queue size. We have around 29 different points. And now we are going over to the map page. And let's see where did this user move around. I am going to click on this plot button. In the background, it's going to send Ajax XML HTTP request, get the data, plot it on the map and every single retrieved coordinate will be displayed in this area. Okay, so let's start. This would be the previously known location of the phone, which is actually my house. Let's not go over there. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Oh.
so yeah you get the idea let's just switch to satellite view and see it plotted our location at EV3 properly this is the way we walked and this is the way we came back it plotted our locations in EV2 it showed how we moved and the route that we traced the multiple points are plotted the lines connecting them are plotted so in near real time as soon as the coordinates start coming the person or the attacker sitting at this particular server can start dequeuing them and can start plotting them using this particular button.